Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Vancouver, BC. And today I have the privilege to interview Devin Hughes from San Diego, California. Hi Devin, how are you doing? I'm doing well, fantastic. Super excited to be here with you today. Thank you for being here. So Devin is the founder of Devin Hughes, a boutique training and development firm created to help establish and emerging leaders grow to the grow to reach their ideal potential as well as their teams. He is also a captivating speaker, author, and culture expert. He helps leaders drive growth and engagement by aligning workplace culture with success. And finally, Devon's experience working on employee engagement strategy involving corporate culture, talent management, and diversity and inclusion, bringing a unique perspective in helping his clients plan, plan for positive growth and evolving. So Devon, my first question for you is, diversity and inclusion has become very hot topic these days. And everyone wants to be a diverse background, especially during the Pride Month, they're changing their logos mm. and they're trying to be inclusive. But in reality, what are some of the tips that, that you can give to employers in order to have more actionable plans rather than having a just checkpoints or changing logos during Pride times? Yeah, so thanks for the question. So I wonder if George Floyd didn't happen mm -hmm. or Breonna Taylor or some of the other tragedies that we have or had, would it be a big of an issue right now? I don't know. I wonder. And so I wonder if those two were commingled. So I say this, when we were kids, you, me and others, and you showed up at the field or the playground, you didn't need anyone to orchestrate you getting along with people. You had a shared identity, whether it was a soccer ball or yeah. playing tag or in the pool. But for some reason, as adults, we struggle. We try to figure it out. I need a strategy. I need a policy. Why are we doing this? Why does it make sense? So I wonder, you know, as we have this conversation, but in terms of your question specifically, what can an organization do? Well, first of all, let's talk about it. Mm -hmm. If you're not talking about it, it's not that important. Okay. But there's more than just talk. Now, some people call it performance activism, which is what you kind of alluded to. Does, does that mean we just celebrate Pride Month, or we celebrate Black History Month, or maybe we celebrate a bunch of different holidays, and that's it? Is that enough? I say not. If I'm an employee, I see through that. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, talk's great, but I, we want to see action. So what I suggest and what I do is I work with organizations is build out and make it part of the strategy. What it cannot be is a bolt on. When I say bolt on, it's just like an adjunct. Well, that's something that we do. Some people call it flavor of the month. Some people call it another initiative. Diversity, equity, inclusion has to be embedded into the culture, mm -hmm. just like anything else. And I can elaborate on that more, but that's as a frame conceptually, that's the difference between organizations that really are committed to it and those that aren't. So sometimes some companies include that they are have a diverse work phrase or they are very inclusive in their mission statement. Does that help that they are committed or again, it's just words for selling themselves or selling the business? Well, too often I find, and I hate to generalize, that people think it's just words. Mm -hmm. First of all, we, we make the presumption that everybody understands what diversity, equity, inclusion are. Mm -hmm. What does white privilege mean? What does systemic racism mean? What is a, so we use this jargon in these, in these words and we don't even really understand or teach people yeah. what this means. People don't understand the history. So how can you expect people to act if they don't even understand yeah. what we're talking about? So I would suggest this, if you're gonna talk about diversity, equity, inclusion, what is it? What does diversity mean? Is it just skin color? Mm -hmm. Is it the way I pray? Is it the way I love? Is it is diversity of thought, diversity of experiences, come into a common understanding of what it is, yeah. why it's important, and mm -hmm. what it looks like in our culture. It's really, really important. Recently, a friend of mine posted on LinkedIn saying that during the Pride Month, uh, a lot of companies change their logos. But we also know that there's other events like Black Lives Matter or Thanksgiving. And sometimes the companies do not change their logos. Do you think that they're being selective and seeing where the money comes or again, should be based on their overall strategy? 
Well, I mean, it could be. I, I can't speak, and 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 I certainly, um, you know, who, who's to know if I celebrate Pride Month, but I don't celebrate Black History Month? Does that infer that I'm not supporting African American issues? I don't know. Mm -hmm. One can certainly come to that conclusion. Uh, and so companies or organizations make choices on what they want to get behind. I will say this, though, having done a lot of work in an organization, uh, when people make choices like that, it's usually a bunch of committed folks like me, you, and others in a room who are kind of galvanizing and pushing the organization to celebrate Pride Month. It's not like there's this some person in the ivory tower traditionally who goes, you know what, we need to do this. It's usually a small group of committed, a coalition of the willing, I call it. So that aside, do I think, you know, it's one or the other? No, I think we should celebrate as many opportunities, as many as we can, which is, you know, congruent with our culture. I will say this, though, you know, you make mistakes. And too often we live in a gotcha culture. And so one of the reasons conversations shut down on this is we make inferences about what people's intent is versus what it isn't. And when we start to cast blame and judgment, conversations stop. When we stop talking, we start, we stop acting. So I believe that training, educating, it's very important for employees in terms of diversity and inclusion. So thank you for that, Devon. So for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Devon a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis. So you'll be with us on a journey. You can like all the videos, make comments. So tune in next time for another great question with Devon. Thank you.